Dido, also known as Elissa, is one of the most captivating figures in Roman mythology, remembered for her role as the legendary queen and founder of Carthage. Her tale is immortalized in Virgil's epic poem, The Aeneid, where she is portrayed as a tragic heroine whose love, leadership, and untimely death have resonated through the ages. Dido was originally a Phoenician princess, the daughter of King Bolus of Tyre. After her brother Pygmalion assassinated her husband, Sicaeus, in a ruthless bid for power, Dido fled her homeland with a loyal band of followers. Guided by a divine prophecy, she sailed across the Mediterranean and landed on the coast of North Africa, where she negotiated with the local Berber king, Yarbas, for a plot of land. Legend has it that she cleverly acquired enough land to build a city by asking for only as much territory as could be covered by an ox hide, and then cutting the hide into thin strips to encompass a vast area. Thus, the great city of Carthage was founded. Dido ruled Carthage with wisdom and strength, gaining the loyalty of her people and transforming the city into a prosperous center of trade and culture. However, her destiny took a fateful turn when the Trojan prince Aeneas, fleeing the ruins of Troy, was cast ashore near Carthage by a storm sent by the gods. Dido welcomed Aeneas and his companions with open arms, and under the manipulative guidance of Venus, the goddess of love, Dido fell deeply in love with Aeneas. For a time, they were happy, and Dido hoped that their union would secure the future of Carthage and bring peace to both their peoples. But the gods had different plans. Jupiter, king of the gods, reminded Aeneas of his divine mission to found a new city in Italy that would become the precursor to Rome. Torn between his duty and his love for Dido, Aeneas chose to leave Carthage. Heartbroken and abandoned, Dido was consumed by grief and anger. She built a great pyre, upon which she placed all the tokens of her love for Aeneas, and then, in a final, desperate act, she threw herself onto the pyre, cursing Aeneas and his descendants. Her death marked a tragic end to her story, but also set the stage for the legendary enmity between Carthage and Rome, which would culminate in the Punic Wars. Dido's tale is not only a poignant love story, but also a reflection of the complexities of fate, duty, and the human condition. As a queen, she represents leadership, intelligence, and the capacity to create a great civilization from nothing. As a lover, she symbolizes passion and the tragic consequences of unrequited love. Her story has been retold through the centuries in various forms of literature, art, and opera continually capturing the imagination of those who encounter it.